Start tonight at 6 though in Lynn County, a couple days past that deadline to request an absentee ballot in Iowa. The problem is some of those absentee voters in Lynn County say they can't send their ballots back because the return envelopes they got were already sealed when they showed up at their homes. Iowa's News Now reporter Cedric Bolton III is getting a closer look at everything. The Lynn County's auditor office tells me they received calls from voters saying that they received their absentee ballots, but their return affidavit envelopes were already sealed. They need to contact us so that we can get them an envelope that they can seal themselves. Um, if they break the seal on a sealed envelope and then try to reseal it, that ballot will not be counted. Matt Warfield, the Deputy Commissioner of Elections at the Lynn County Auditor's Office, says they received about 30 calls about faulty envelope seals. For some, the slip of paper that prevents the adhesive from sticking was missing. But you can't just open it and put your ballot in anyway, at least not if you want your vote to count. The seal of the affidavit envelope is very critical to the process. If that seal has been tampered with, that ballot will not be counted. Another issue the auditor warns is when there's multiple voters in the same household mistakenly signing each other's designated envelopes. We see it happen roughly about 50 times every election. So um, it's understandable. Uh, a couple sits down at the table, goes over the ballot together, and they missed that they swapped envelopes at some point in time. Warfield says around 16 to 17,000 people in Lynn County have voted absentee by mail so far, while nearly 12,000 cast their ballots early. Right now, they're seeing about 2,000 early voters a day. Because we can take more time making sure that that process is gone through appropriately during early voting, rather than on election day where there is moments in time throughout election day where everybody is trying to vote. The deadline to request an absentee ballot has already passed, but if you already have yours, you have until 8 p.m. November 5th to turn it into your local county auditor's office. And again, if there's something wrong with your ballot, contact your county auditor in Cedar Rapids. Cedar Bolton III, Iowa's News Now.